This is called Globe Test. Mark, I watched D Marble's video, 100% flat earth proof. The sun is a smoking gun. And his follow-up video, The Sun is a Smoking Gun, part two. <laughs> In the first, on in, in August 15th, 2017, at 1 p.m. local time in Tacoma, D calls, wow, you actually time-date stamped it in the email. That is that is specific. Okay, let's keep, keep going with this. Uh, D calls a friend in Bradford, West Yorkshire, England, at 9.03 local time, and a friend in Beolia, Central Queensland, Australia. I know I butchered the names on these. Sorry, guys. 6.06 a.m. local time. Who could each almost see the sun? According to the globe model, not more nor less than about 50% of the Earth should be directly illuminated by the sun at any given time. I marked the three locations with the sun almost directly over Tacoma, 1 p.m., and I could not see the other two locations simultaneously using a globe. So this begs the question, what would be the most extreme occurrence of this phenomena? The longest day might occur on or about the summer solstice, June 21st, and the longest night around December 21st. In fact, with the winter solstice approaching, this would make a good contest for the peanut gallery. Find the two furthest separated cities, towns, not directly illuminated, longest night at any given time near the solstice. Next summer, new contest. Find the two furthest towns directly illuminated at the same time. The prize might be a t-shirt signed by you and several other flattered celebrities uh, attending the FE 2018 in Denver. Rules, both cities and towns less than 2,000 feet elevation. Two, only cities and towns labeled on a 12-inch Globemaster globe. Three, use sunrise and sunset times from weather.com or other authoritative rep website provide screenshots. Four, entries emailed between 24 hours before and 24 hours after the solstice. Five, sunrise sunset times must be separated by at least two minutes to make sure times do not overlap due to rounding the seconds. Six, Time of longest day night occurring between 48 hours before solstice to 24 hours after. Thank you, Peter Jarvio. Cool. That's, that is an, a very well thought out test. Awesome. Thank you for that. Quick other things. Peter Jarvio will be at the Flattoberfest, but he is also going to be doing street activism at Clemson University on campus, October 17th through the 21st, weather permitting. Uh, if you want to get a hold of him and see him, you, know, you want to film him, because he doesn't film his own stuff. It's the weirdest thing. Karen and I had him on. He does just rabid street activism, but he doesn't film any of it. <laughs> so, right. so nobody, unless, you know, kids will sometimes put little snippets on TikTok and stuff. I didn't even know if he was doing it. So if you guys want to, anyone wants to go out there and film him doing what he's doing, wonderful. You can contact him at Jarvio PDJ at gmail.com or you can give him a ring at 859-489-8590. So yeah. Yeah. And he did say that he had a permit and everything. So yep. he's oh yeah. Good. Yep. He's Nobody good. will chase you off. He's gonna do it. 